Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is day two in Vegas. So I'm gonna get ready to go downstairs to the casino. Um, I think I'm, I'm just gonna put my hair up in a ponytail. Uh, I didn't bring any hairspray, so I'm gonna use this Anastasia. Um, this is a brow freeze just to get like the little hairs in the front. So I already parted my hair down the center and I'm just gonna pick it up into a ponytail. And I already did my eyebrows also, just to, because it takes a long time, so. So I'm just using the spoolie that's on my, my brow pencil, and then I'm just gonna brush the hairs, because I have a lot of flyaways. I should just use my fingers, but... Oh, damn, that's too much. Okay. So yesterday we gambled and lost. <laughs> so I like <coughs> <coughs> I like playing the slot machines because I feel like every time I play them I win. Um, but of course we keep gambling that same money and overdo it, and then we end up losing it again. So, I'm just going to use some water. Okay, so I just had to get some water because the little hairs in the front aren't going down. So yeah, we gambled, I like, so we gambled and I like doing the slots, but we lost quite a bit of money. And the restaurant that we went to, I don't think I closed the, I don't, I don't think I did like an outro for the video yesterday, but the restaurant that we went to for dinner, Super Fino, I believe, I don't know. Um, that restaurant was so entertaining. The food was good, um, but just the entertainment there was, it made the experience really fun, so. <clears throat> we had a great time going to dinner there last night. Okay, so I forgot the primer yesterday, so today I'm going to use the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. I should have used this on my hair because this is like super sticky 
it would hold the hairs down. And today I think I am gonna wear the lashes, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go in again with the uh, Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in the shade Y445. And grab this flat top brush from e.l.f. I think it's a blush brush. No, powder brush. And then just stipple that everywhere. So I don't know what we have planned tonight or where we're gonna have dinner. So I think tonight we're just gonna wing it and see what happens. I wanted to see Usher, but I don't think he's performing again until February. It's gonna get in my hair, but we'll fix it. Okay, so I'm not gonna do under my eyes right now. I'm gonna save that for last because I think that makes the biggest difference for me. So <coughs> I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Blush in Joy. And then put that on, that was probably way too much, but let's blend it out. Yeah, that was way too much. Okay, it looks like shit right now, but we'll fix it. My nose is still running. I still have allergies. I thought they would clear up now that we're in Vegas, but that hasn't happened. So, okay, and again, I'm taking the milk. Um, I think this is foundation. This is in the shade Maple, and I'm using this stippling brush, and I'm just gonna kind of contour my cheeks. Not so much, just to bring some kind of color back into my face. So, and again, I'm not, I'm trying to rush because the hubby's already downstairs at the casino. So I just take forever. So I'm just trying to do this quick and then grab some and put it and my crease, bring it out a little, just to use it kind of as eyeshadow, because I don't think I want to put eyeshadow on. Okay, and then a little bit under my chin. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. I'm going to do liner today, so I have a couple here. Um, this is a Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner, but I don't know if it's 
like dried out. So we're gonna check. Yeah, it's a little dry, but it has some ink. So I think I brought my e.l.f liquid liner, so I'll just fill it in with that. Let me just, oops. Okay, well, I have the NYX one. Um, this one is the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof liner and this one has like the little brush tip so ooh, i don't know if y'all can see it yeah so this one has a little brush tip so i just like to get the excess off to make a sharper line so just to fill it in I have the Foam Ink Wispies Lashes by Ardell. So I'm gonna use these. I'm just gonna cut the little edges off. Anytime someone else uses the water, you can hear it in here. So, okay, so see how it has like the little edge right there and on this side? I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the um, duo glue, eyelash glue, and put that on, and then just let it dry for a little bit. And in the meantime, I guess I will put some eyeshadow on. I'll probably use these two colors, the brown, and this is a Revolution Reloaded palette. And this brush, I don't know where this brush is from. It's It says Profusion on it. So I'm going to get the lighter color and the darker one and just mix them and just put it in my crease on the outside and then just blend it in. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a regular brush and blend it out. Okay, the lash should be dry now, so I'm going to put that on. and then that's gonna dry clear. So I'm gonna put the other lash on and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have the other lash on and it's not it's not dry yet. Um, so I'm gonna wait till it dries and then I am gonna add mascara because I don't like the way these sit on the eye. They kind of go straight. So I should have <coughs> curled them with the eyelash curler, but I don't have a little insert that goes right here because it fell out and I don't want to look through all of my stuff right now. So I'm going to go in with the NARS concealer, uh, the darker of the two. And I'm going to conceal under 
my eyes and then we'll go up to the powders so And you don't need like a lot of product because this one, it's very pigmented. So you only need a little bit. So I just like tap it in the little pot and then press it under my eyes. And then I do get any other spots that are darker. All of this area usually gets, is usually darker. So I just put a little bit of concealer there and on this side. And then we'll do a little bit right here and I'll go over with the lighter one right here on my forehead also. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this brush. I broke it, so it's like a little angled one. I don't know where it's from. Um, I think it may have been a set that I got on Amazon, but I love this one for under my eyes because it's so easy just to get like the inner corner. And then I just tap it in. And then bring it out. And then I'm going to take the Makeup by Mario. Um, Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfection. And I have the shade medium, so I like to use this one because it gives like a little glow. And then I'll use this one. I wanna say this is from EcoTools. Yeah, I think this one's from EcoTools. And then I just tap it in here. And then tap it on my skin. And I'm not doing under the eyes because I'm still gonna use the lighter concealer. I just need to put the blush on first. So that way I can blend it out. So I'm trying to just put this on the top because I am gonna put the lighter concealer like right in between my eyebrows and a little bit over them. Okay, I'm gonna get the lighter NARS concealer and use this in the inner corners, just the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten it up more because I like a bright under eye. And this might be like too much for other people, but I do like the makeup look. I like um, full coverage foundation and if I wear makeup, it's usually a lot of makeup. So. And 
then I'm gonna go back in with this brush and then just tap it in. And then I kind of bring it up the side of the nose, like towards my eyebrow. And then kind of blend it down into my cheeks. And I forgot to do the blush, so. Usually I don't put eyeshadow like underneath my eyes, but I might just do that right now. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2 palette. Oh, the eyeshadow is Division, Revolution Reloaded Division palette. So this one is the Reloaded Neutrals palette. And I'm gonna take this shade right here and I am gonna use it as blush. So, and then I just tap it in. I do use a lot of blush too. Blush and concealer are probably my favorite parts of makeup. Definitely concealer because I have really dark circles under my eyes. So I feel like the concealer just makes a big difference. Okay, so now I'm just going to put more of like a shader, I guess, contour color. And I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin. And this is in the same shade as the Makeup Forever stick that I use, it's Y445. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna get the backs, like the back part of my cheeks, and then my temples and a little bit on my forehead. I think I'm gonna do the sides of my nose too. So I'm just squishing the brush. Next, I'm gonna just a powder under my eyes. And again, I'm gonna use the KKW um, Brighten Powder, and this is in the shade number two. So it looks like this, it's a little peachy pink color. And then just tap it underneath. And then the same on this side. And then I'm gonna go over it with the Fit Me foundation or pressed powder. And this is in the shade Classic Ivory in number 120. And again, I don't have my um, setting spray, so I'm gonna have to do without that. I'm gonna go in with the Great Lash Mascara and the, <coughs> and the Lash Paradise. So I'm gonna do those two. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'm gonna line my lips again because I didn't bring a lot of um, my lip stuff. This is in the shade Brandywine from ELF and it's number 666. And then I'm going to take this Super Stay Matte Ink, and this is in the shade Seductress, number 65. And I'm going to use this, and this lasts all day. So I have this little angled brush. I think it still has eyeshadow on it. And I'm just gonna take this brown eyeshadow and put it under my eyes. I'm gonna look down because if not, then the excess powder is gonna, the excess eyeshadow is gonna fall on my face and I don't want that. So. The lipstick is pretty drying, so I'm gonna go over this lipstick or lip stain with the Sexy Mother Plucker Pillow Plump. This is by Soap and Glory, and it doesn't work, but it's it'll give moisture to my lips, but the plumping effect does not work. You'll feel like little tinglys but it's not gonna make a difference on your lips. And that's it. And I am gonna put some of this in my hair to keep it down. I just have like a little dot. Since I don't have gel, this will be my gel. Look at the sides already coming up. That'll work. Yep. Looks good to me, so. Now I am just gonna change. I think you could see like the freaking glue because the, the lash, the band on these lashes are thick and, but they're, it's clear, but still you can still see it, but oh well, nobody's gonna get that close to me. So this is the final look. I am gonna go finish getting ready and Thank you guys again for watching. If you like this video, let me unplug this straightener before I forget. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel grow and you guys are supporting me also. So thank you guys so much. And um, leave your comments down below if you do have any comments. And I will see you guys in my next video.